Well, dear, uh, we will be talking about uh, pharmacoeconomics, and at the end of this lecture, you will be able to define pharmacoeconomics and how the concept of pharmacoeconomics works. So, pharmacoeconomics is a division of healthcare economics that number first identifies, number two measures, and number three compares the cost or the resources that are consumed versus the consequences that you get at the end of a pharmaceutical products or any services that has been rendered. You know, hospital is an intricate organization where different types of services are being provided like pharmacy services, medical services, and so on. So, so, so in a nutshell, you see, uh, what pharmacoeconomics focuses on? Pharmacoeconomics is focusing on resources being utilized and versus the resources being uh, are rendered but this is not simple because this is a process of efficient and effective utilization of 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 the resources being consumed and and the services being rendered so so thus pharmacoeconomics is a division of healthcare services that identifies measures and compare the cost uh, the resources uh, consumed to, to provide a particular type of services. I hope now you understand. Now, having said that, now there are different types of outcomes once you give the particular type of uh, pharmacotherapy. So the outcomes may be uh, clinical outcome, there may be economic outcome, there may be humanistic outcome. And the clinical outcome is uh, a hospital stay of the patient or he or she is being observing the adverse drug reaction or untoward reactions and hospital readmission or uh, consequently uh, death or as the case may be. So all these outcomes, uh, since this relates to the patient, something related to the patient, so therefore they are called clinical outcomes and the clinical outcomes are, are they must have certain endpoints predetermined in the pharmaceutical care plan as well. So thus, economic outcome is focusing on the acquisition cost being associated with the rare, with the care, labor cost or associated with care, and so many other type of services being ren rendered. So thus, uh, in the case of uh, economic outcome, we consider the, for example, the cost of the re cost of the readmission. For example, in case of clinical outcome, there is readmission due to any particular re adverse drug reaction. Here, in case of economic outcome, here we add the flavor of cost, and you see the cost of the hospital readmission. Similarly, the cost of an adverse drug reaction will will be an additional cost that is being 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 where the patient is being treated because the patient has been treated for a particular endpoint, but unwa unwanted effect like adverse drug reaction being observed, and that has been treated so simultaneously. Now, now this particular type of outcome once it's compared in the term of the cost so you, you see and it is called as economic outcome then the humanistic outcome humanistic outcome is uh, as, as, as the name indicate is related to the humanity and humanistic uh, mean that the patient satisfaction patient quality of life for example you have an epileptic patient where the number of seizures are very high and you are going to um, for control the number of seizures with classical anti-epileptic drugs and you know classical anti-epileptic drugs have unwanted epic like 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 what you can say drowsiness and sometimes it permits the patient to go into the productive life so 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 thus the quality of the patient's life is affected is affected at the cost of at the cost of uh, the drug being treated so therefore uh, while treating the patients, it is important to know about the clinical outcome that how much, for example, in case of epilepsy, how how much this drug is going to manage the seizure and the type of seizure, then the economic outcome, how much cost is going to affect being 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 rendered by the patient and how much will be the endpoints you see. And of course, uh, once we talk about the endpoint, the endpoint mean the pharmacotherapic endpoints or the targeted clinical outcomes. And simultaneously, the drug therapy is not going to affect the quality of life of the patient adversely. So, so these three points are very important. Once we use the word cost, so let me know what are costs. 
So there are different types of costs being used in pharmacoeconomics. One is the total cost, and total cost is the direct and indirect cost. Remember, it is the direct and indirect cost being being rendered uh, a service to a patient in the hospitals. So thus, thus the total cost of the therapy may include the direct services, mean a direct cost of the product or the pharmaceutical product, or an indirect service being rendered by the nurses or nursing staff or paramedics or in the case may be, or for any adverse effects, and that will be an addendum to the direct cost. So you see the total cost is very important. Uh, Sometimes average cost is used, and the average cost is the cost per unit of output. But in pharmacology and in pharmacoeconomics, important is, once you are going to compare one therapy with other, there is incremental cost. An incremental cost is an additional cost with the patient, once, once we are going to compare, uh, one alternative to another. For example, you are going to treat uh, acute maxillary sinusitis with uh, macrolides, and amongst the macrolides, you have a choice of uh, clarithromycin, you have a choice of erythromycin. So, erythromycin costs almost 8 rupees, Pakistani rupees per tablet, 500 milligram, whereas clarithromycin, 500 milligram costs almost, almost 70, 70, 75 rupees per tablet. And, and then you keep in mind the clinical endpoints, clinical outcomes, and then the total cost of the therapy is compared. So thus, in a nutshell, in pharmacoeconomics, we just, uh, it's a division of healthcare economics, where we identify more and compare the cost or the resources being utilized versus the services being rendered in a particular pharmaceutical care unit or a hospital or a pharmacy, clinical pharmacy setup. I hope now you understand that.